There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. And what's up, Divas? It's your girl April. So I am back with a new video. This is, of course, a new hair video. And this one is going to be by bestlacewigs.com. Well, it ain't gonna be by them, but the hair is by them, but the wig video is by me. So this time around, I, last time I did, I did their curly hair too. And it was a little bit different. The hair texture was totally different, but it was curly. And I showed you guys how it looks being worn factory curl. And then after, like the next day, I came back and I showed you how it looks washed. So this one is is the Virgin Brazilian um, full lace, glueless full lace wig, um, lace front wig, okay, and this one is the, I will put the information for you guys below, but it is the GSW 156, 22 inches, honey, and it has 150% density, and they call this one Big Curly, so first of all, this one I could not wear without it um, being washed because for one it was they were really really tiny tiny tight curls so you guys already knew once I washed it that the hair was gonna get really pretty so the first thing I did was just wash it so I did notice it had like a little smell to it but once I washed it it did come right out so this is it here very pretty hair now I know from just looking at it it probably doesn't look so full but trust me when I tell y'all once y'all start running your fingers through this texture hair it is going to get really really big y'all so if you like big big hair then this 150 percent density is going to work now it is a lace front it does come with combs already attached there's probably like five inches of parting so it's a lace front you can't part it throughout the entire wig unit but that's okay because some people don't mind that me for one i don't really care um it does have like i said combs an adjustable strap and some combs in the nape area as well me I also sewed in a elastic band because I love for my lace wigs to fit so really like I was saying I did wash this and I did tweeze a little bit of the hair out of the part because I just like it to look as natural as possible some people like to customize and tweeze their frontals and with this one it looks like the edges are a little bit thinner you may have to tweeze it a little bit but I don't really do that with mine I just like to put it on sometimes I like to pull out a little bit of hair I don't like to um, tweeze and customize the entire hairline because I know if I tweeze too much there is no going back okay no going back so it is 22 inches beautiful curly hair very full and I am just like ready ready to go and to try this on 2015. Oh, uh, yeah, man. Don't touch it. Ah. Uh. Uh. I sing. I sing. Oh, sing. Make you watch how I rise. Oh, hey. To the top, I will rise. Oh, hey. What a hater. What a hater. Don't worry me, no streets, what they hate it. Don't worry me, no bands, what they hate it. What they hate it, what they hate it. Watch how I rise, oh, hey. To the top, I will rise. Make you watch how I rise, oh, hey. To the top, I will rise, oh, hey. What they hate it. All right, did I tell y'all or did I not tell y'all that a little bit of finger combing will fluff this wig to its capacity? This is not even the capacity, meaning it could get bigger than this. It can grow more if you wanted to, but listen, 150% density with this particular hair is enough. I like it a lot because for one, it really does look like it can pass for 
African American curly hair, which is beautiful because once you fluff it, it gets kind of like this. I want to say frizzy look, which is so beautiful because that is how our curls turn out sometimes when there's a lot of finger fluffing or just a little bit. This hair but is really great quality. For one, what's cool about it is it's virgin, so you can actually put some kind of hair dye to it if you want to. You can bleach it if you want to. But what I do, I would always suggest doing like a strand test. Don't get all happy beforehand and say, you know what, I'm about to bleach this wig. Do a strand test first, take you off a little snippet from the back nape area and try that out. You know, I always like to strand test anything because you really don't want to ruin your entire bundle or your entire wig. But you can always do box dye if you don't like doing bleach um, or what have you, but it is virgin so there are endless styles that you can do with this and you can flat iron it and make it straight although I do like it like this and even though it's a lace front you cannot part it all over you can still do a lot of things with it you can wear it in a high low bun you can put some cornrows on the side and do some baby hairs I'm not really that great as I used to be with the baby hairs I mean I guess I really don't like too much pasted to my forehead you know that is what it is unless I'm wearing like a bun or a ponytail then I do because it kind of like camouflages like my long face but anyway we're not even going to talk about that but best lace wigs you can check them out they always got like some good hair going on like a good sale going on they got some really nice units I like the virgin units the ones I had before this was a virgin and it was also 22 inches but the curl pattern was a little bit different but it was still just as pretty just as pretty so yes I will post all of the information for you girls down below of this hair this particular hair 22 inches honey 22 inches and like I said it's enough. 150% density is more than enough. This wig is not to its capacity. So, like I was showing you guys, it can get really, really big on you. Okay. So, yes, you guys, let me know what you think of this unit right here. She is big and pretty, and I'm loving her. Very pretty. I, I just really like the texture a lot because, like I said, it can go to being like this frizzy look, which is amazing because, like I was saying, it just resembles African-American hair. It looks really, really natural, which is a great thing because some curly hair, when you comb it out, it doesn't have like that frizzy look. It still looks really, really silky. So with this one, you don't really have to do a lot of comb throughs with it because it does get huge. It gets humongous capacity huge but when you do finger comb it out a little bit it does get a little bit bigger but it also gets more natural looking so I would highly suggest when you get this unit make sure that you wash it prior to wearing it because if you wear it without washing it it's really not going to look that natural as you would like for it to look plus the, the curls just form their own and they take on a whole different look so yes you guys i will post this one for you guys below with the info and a direct link let me know what you think stay diva and divalicious as always make sure you rate comment subscribe and i'll see you girls and guys on a soon to come video i love you and see you soon